and that was the new release I Don't Know What Else To Say by Alex Richmond, a number one smash hit on the singles chart that seemingly come out of nowhere. A slower version of the popular love ballad was released earlier this year, also managing to reach the top 20. We get to see whether this jazzy new track will prove to be just a one-hit wonder or the start of a very exciting, very promising career. Do you want a burger? Uh, a burger? Uh, sure. Yeah. 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 No, I'll have one. We don't want no, one. I'll have one. You sure? Yes. Okay, I'm just checking. You know you don't have to. No, I know, it's just... I'll have one. You sure? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, no, actually. Really? No, no. Oh, no, go on. No, it's fine. No, go on. No, it, I, I was just... You don't want one. No, I... If you don't want one, it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Daniel. I'm not hungry. Oh, my God. Do you want a burger? Yes or no? Oh no. We'll decide. Is there a menu? You're joking. There might be a menu. You've never asked. It's burgers and hot dogs. Yes, I know that. So why do you, you never want know. it? When has it changed? It might change. To what? Just give me a moment, okay? Fine. You want it. How did last time? It's your turn to order. I've already ordered. Okay. What? Nothing. I knew that you'd do this. I've got to be back in like 20 I minutes. don't have to get anything. Oh, no, I didn't mean No, that. oh, no, it's fine. If there's not enough time. No, but it's been, what, five minutes? You're the one to get back. Look, I'm sorry. What do you want? I'll go... Burger. Uh, wait. Yeah, burger. Fine, let's go. Burger, it. yeah. I'm good. <laughs> You'll see. I don't get it. You'll see. You ordered me a burger. Maybe. You didn't. Oh, of course that. I did. Well, how did you... As if you'd go hot dog. <laughs> I might. As if you'd go hot dog. I just want to try it someday. Uh, you know, I... I don't think I've ever seen anyone go hot dog. No, I don't think I have I. Mm. Coffee, tea, <laughs> burgers. Surely we must have, like, surely we must have seen mm. someone at least. Not necessarily. Maybe you should have gone for that, like. Maybe there's a reason it goes from. Yeah, I bet. Somehow everyone knows they're not as good. What it does with them all? You know, when they go off. Hot dogs go off, right? Um, I think so. Yeah, um, I don't know. Probably eat some. Hot <laughs> dogs, I mean, why not? Him and the. Uh, Do you, do you want to catch up with those? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sorry. Yeah. I'll get that. Oh. What? I almost said him and the missus. Oh. That would have been so cool. Yep. I'm so glad that you're doing it. Me too. Karma. You didn't. You didn't hear, did you? No, you didn't say anything. No, 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 no. <sighs> Look at his little face. Just an old man. <laughs> no, but still. Like twice your dad's age. Oh, he's not that old. He could be your granddad. Okay, that is so weird to think of Jamie being your granddad. He's not a granddad, is he? I don't know. He'd make a great granddad, I bet. They're free burgers. Don't get that dog. <laughs> come on, children. Come and get your up dogs before they get killed. He's not Gollum. He's not not Gollum. <laughs> See, now I feel bad for him. Can you imagine the amount of people that make fun of him? I mean, I think he can take it. Mm, I don't know. <sighs> Deja vu. <sighs> what? I don't know, I just feel like I've lived this before. Okay, yeah, well, we do come here no, a lot. No, I mean this exact conversation. Strange. Oh, yeah. Do you want to talk about it? No, it's or? okay. Just move on. Okay. 
What did you mean the other day when you said I was predictable? When did you say that? Yesterday. When? Uh, we were watching The Chase, I think it was like... Oh! <laughs> they just are. I'm not that predictable though. Remember your birthday? We stayed in. No, the year before that. No, that doesn't count. That totally counts. Fine. One time that you weren't predictable. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it was you surprised me. Yeah, that was the point. Yeah, well, you did good. It was a good night. Yeah, I don't really remember much of it. I told you what happened between your dad and my mum. No. He slapped her off. What? He slapped her off. No, I know, but how? We're playing on the Wii, Wii tennis, you know it is. He swings back and smacks her in the arse. It was proper hard as well. I didn't know that. I thought I told you that. No. No, I thought I told you that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. He's just seen his face. He went so <laughs> red. I haven't seen him go that red since from that one time I forgot my name. Oh, my God. Poor Sharon. Poor Sharon? <laughs> right, poor Barbara. She had to watch her husband smack another woman's ass. Oh, well, how <laughs> did Pete take it? Mm, he, was, he was fine. He just... Mm, I'm not sure I should repeat oh, what he no, said. Oh, no. Go on. He's... <laughs> He said, he said, he was surprised she didn't enjoy it as much. It wouldn't be the first time something like that happens. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. My mum and dad are freaks. That must have been humiliating. God, I wish I was I'm there. glad she won. But your mum's all right, wasn't she? She's fine. She's just sitting down the rest of the That's why she was sitting down the whole time. Yeah, I think we had to call the ambulance in the end. What was I doing? Dancing, probably. Yeah, probably. Oh. No, I remember the ambulance, but I thought that was for Ben. Ben? Which Ben? Corky. What about him? Didn't he, like, cut his finger or... Oh, yeah. Well, you yeah, get an ambulance for that, surely. But he can get some pretty bad cuts. God, I can't believe I did that. Was she all right? She went to concerts. Oh, my God. Yeah, she played well for this time. Oh, my God, if I'd have known, I could have... Help? Oh, she, she wouldn't have wanted that. Don't worry, it's all on the That makes so much sense. No, you know. That makes so much sense. I thought you knew that. No, I know that. I mean, you wouldn't have remembered it in all honesty. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember that we, you know. Yeah. We did it. Oh, you were fucking off your face. I wasn't that bad, was I? You were pretty gone. Oh, well, I must have been. Sorry. No, you're fine. Yeah, I know. You don't need to be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. It's just... I don't like not remembering things. As far as I know... Can we uh, just talk about something else? Okay. Um, what's the time? Um, 6.47. It's okay, we've got time. Sure. Yeah. So, where do we want to go on holiday? Oh, can we talk about something else, no, come please? On, we've got to no, we've got. We have point. time, okay? It won't take long. Yes, I know, yeah, I know, but we will just not now, okay? okay. So, how has your day been? <laughs> oh, um, great. I got catcalled. So I was just walking to the bus and bam. The bus driver was really nice about it though. I'm so sorry. Oh no, it's, it's fine. It's just <gasps> I haven't told you about what happened when I got in today. Okay, so I clock in, I go into the briefing room and Suzanne's there all blotchy and red. And I'm like, oh, do I ask her about it? Do I not ask her about it? Anyway, she just starts crying oh, right yeah. there in front of the whole team. And we're all just stood there like, what? <laughs> anyway, so she like bolts out and she darts off towards bathroom. But first of all, bathroom is out of order. So we all just watch her going this wild goose chase, searching for a bathroom that she could cry into. Anyway, so I told you about Mark. Um, which one's Mark? So he's the one um, who really likes to talk about Tesla. Yes. So, okay. do you remember I told you about Mark and Suzanne? Um, no. So, um, he's the one oh, that... Oh, is, is he the one who... No, so you're thinking of Frank. Okay. So, Mark's the one who she had the one like standing. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's on about. Okay, anyway, so, Frank. Oh, which one was he again? 
he's the one who really likes to use the word imperative. No, I don't think I know him. Okay, so anyway, so Frank is... Oh, is he? Oh, is he the one we walked into in Starbucks? Yeah, he said he, he said I looked like I need a really good spanking. No, when did that happen? So anyway, so we're getting off topic. So, Frank, he's tall. He's got ginger hair. Oh and yeah, no, it won't be in there. Okay, so anyway, so he is. Oh, also... is he the Daniel? one? Who... What? You're not letting me speak. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, so Frank is also sleeping with Suzanne, and so when she runs off, they both move to go after her, and they both just look at each other like. Huh? And it was this priceless moment when neither of them knew about the other. Anyway, so this is the good part. So we found out, well, I found out just before I came here, that the reason that she was crying is because she's actually pregnant and her hormones are going apeshit crazy. So now everyone's wondering who it is. So Nancy thinks that she's also slept with this guy called Guy. It's funny, I know. And so now everyone's wondering whether it is Mark oh, or Frank's or... I think Guy might have been the one from Starbucks. Okay. Is he... Is he... <sighs> slightly... Uh, you know. I don't know. I, I think he might have been the one from Starbucks because if I remember right, on the cup... He's got a flat white. And on the cup it said... Guy. Maybe Guy. Okay. Nothing. It's fine. Um, how has your day been? Yeah, it's fine. I, I got up and did a bit of um, a bit of uni. Uh, you know, we might just have to leave the burgers at this rate. It's if we've not got time. Yeah, listen, just... Well, I've got you here. There's been something I've been to say and. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Daniel? It's fucking ketchup, man. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, no, yeah, I... I just, it's, I... Recently I've been feeling like... Like we should... Fuck. Never mind, just... No, go on, tell me. Right. Is something wrong? No, no. Do you want me to go and no, get napkins no, no, for just, you? No, no, please, just, just sit, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> How are you making me laugh right now? Because I'm funny. <laughs> you are. You are. Right, um... You're not gonna marry me, are you? Claire! No, fuck, we'll talk about this later. What's wrong? I'm trying to speak, but you're not letting me. Just say it. Then. I am trying to. Okay. So you love me? Yeah, but no, but. No? Yeah. No, 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 I do love you, but... Okay, good. No, Claire, just... I love you. Why do you keep saying that? Fucking hell, Claire. Why are you getting mad? I'm not mad. Okay, well, I've not got long. I've got to be back in, like, 20 minutes, okay, so... Okay, just let me, let me say what I need to say. Okay, so you've got five minutes. No, no, I, I, I need... Just speak. Fine. Okay, so we've been going out for like a really long time, like five years, and you know I love you so much. Okay, we'll just skip past this part. Okay, but recently I've, just, I've been feeling like, I don't know, I, I feel like, I feel like maybe we're going or, maybe this I'm going in a different, you know, place. And you know I love you so much. And, and because of that, I feel, like, I owe it to you to, to tell you that I feel that I think that... Oh, fuck, I'm not trying to say it. Okay. For a while now, I feel like I've been missing... No, oh, no, not missing. Like, I feel like I think that I've been just sort of feeling like... Like, I think that I just...
and that was the new release I Don't Know What Else To Say by Alex Richmond, a number one smash hit on the singles chart that seemingly come out of nowhere. A slower version of the popular love ballad was released earlier this year, also managing to reach the top 20. We've yet to see whether this jazzy new track will prove to be just a one-hit wonder or the start of a very exciting, very promising career for Alex. For those who have just joined us, my name is Hugh Coleman and now the headlines. On average, 400 people drown in the UK each year with a further 200 taking their own lives. Drowning accounts for more than casualties than house fires, cycling, or deaths on the road. Now, why is this the case? How can we, as a community, prevent these fatalities from happening every year? Is that about preparation, education in schools, adverts on TV? Join us later this afternoon as we discuss why we are so unprepared to deal with something that so many of us have. Yeah, um, yeah, good. Yeah. Um, what about you? Um, I'm, um, I'm really, really great. Yeah. Oh, do you? Because, yeah. you know, I've been meaning to do something about it for a while, um, being, being, being forced and, um, um, you know, um, uh, what, what do you think about the colour? Yeah, really because I wasn't so sure if you would look, you know, unprofessional or, or stupid or, or ditzy or, no, you know, and do you even know how expensive it can be to change it? It's like absolutely pissing, like bloody extortionate. And... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I like your brace there. Oh, thanks. I um, I got it last Christmas. It's nice. Really suits you. What happened to the old one? You know, your birthday, the the one I got you. I um. Lost. No, no, you, you know, um, it happened, so, um, yeah, um, um, I just, could you give me, I, I need you a second and I'll be um, back in two. Jordan, this is Cal. Cal, this is Jordan. Hello, you're right. Yeah. Hey, mates. Um, good, thank you. He, he's a friend from work. You don't mind, do you? Uh, he's never been into the area and I, I, I don't like giving him a tour. So, <laughs> how long have you known each other? Um, probably, yeah, since the first day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right through the, you'll be fast, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, with the printer and the coffee machine and <laughs> Oh my god, no, you're not the best person present. That's just putting it lightly. I was basically mortified the whole time. You don't... <laughs> You've just seen a look on your face. Oh, the whole oh, office was in no, I was basically hyperventilating in the, in the office since to Janine. Janine, came. Janine, she was the worst one. She was calling oh, you a home wrecking for a solid, solid month. Cow. It wasn't even my fault. I was there to try to what actually happened. <laughs> it was. Um, oh. uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, Cal's a friend from work and he's a copywriter and um, we work quite close together. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, sorry, I don't decide to do this one. Um, it's like my own personal source of entertainment. Well, glad I give you some news. <laughs> <laughs> you still weren't of any over at Brixton. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. How did you know each other? Oh, um, we used to work together. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Would anyone like some drinks? Um, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, yeah. Okay, if you're sure, I'll, I'll be back.
It's um, it's really pretty, really, really pretty. Um, very different to Manchester, you know. Yeah, uh, less busy, I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. So, uh, you live here long? Yeah, all my life actually. Yeah, my um, my friends are here, families who work here, so just sort of makes sense. Really. Manchester originally? Or? Oh, no, 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 God, no, um, Plymouth originally. Um, lived in uh, London for a few years, Edinburgh, Marbella, yeah, just trying to get around, see it all, you know. Yeah, yeah. I do know. Um, so, yeah, how did you leave me? Uh, what? Yeah, uh, we, we mentioned. Sorry, yeah, I mean, um, how. Is work. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's good. That's good. Mm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Sorry. laughs> how are things? <laughs> Tell me everything. How how is um um John and Karen and Maggie and. Josie. Yeah, okay, so, so um so Maggie retired. Yeah, we had a nice little um party for my god. Oh that's really nice. Yeah. Uh she's looking by everyone I think. I think she's a bit like John and Kieran got engaged just last week actually. Oh that's yeah. nice. Oh, yeah, that's that's really nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they might be moving away too, but I think that's just a rumour. And Josie <laughs> okay. <laughs> she um went back to education with it. Okay. But she it, didn't, she didn't say it, she just uh, left. Mm -hmm. Sam. Sam's got a tattoo now. Oh, does he? Yeah. I, I wouldn't picture him no, as a no. yeah. You wouldn't think he would do it's this big sort of uh, I don't know. It's okay. not really my thing, but it yeah. looks nice. I mean, it sounds nice. What about you? What have you been up to? Breaking hearts, winning the walls? <laughs> I know, just, just living the day to day. Really? Yeah. I got a new head for the shower. So that's been nice. Yeah, nice! Especially, um, <laughs> For the mornings. <laughs> yeah, that, that's nice. Yeah, sure. Um, been dating anyone? No. Not really. Um, me and Nicola. Nicola. Yeah, cute. Jennifer. <laughs> she's not a germaphobe. No, she's not. No, she's not. Yeah, of course. Um, sorry. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, me and Nicola we went on. And? And, um, how was it? Really, I don't, um, really think it's what I'll be next for looking for. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, how's the new place? Oh my god. Manchester is like absolutely amazing. It's like this complete different world, and and you know I, I feel like I, I really, really settled. And maybe not too settled, but settled enough to enjoy my time over there. Yeah, that um, that sounds good. Yeah, it's 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 really good, and and Cal's been absolutely amazing. No, he has. He's always selling himself short. He, you have, and and I swear I, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without you. Yeah. You should come out sometime. Oh, no, you should. No, no. Oh, you for sure need a break. No, I, I mean, what else sure. have you got going on? No, because I, oh, I'm sorry. What I meant is, I'm, I'm really, I meant I would love to spend some more time with you, and I, I, I would love for you to see Manchester and, and show you my new friends. And I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I really didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. 
I just, I just don't think that it's for me. Why not? Remember Edinburgh? I mean, that's been, um, that, that's been ages ago, things must have um, changed a little bit. Uh, um, I'm pretty busy at the moment. Work. Yeah. It has him. Tied down. Yeah. Obviously. So, what do you want to like another drink? Uh, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Okay. 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 So, is there anything fun to do while I'm in town? Yeah, there's, um, there's mini golf. That's still there. Yeah. Uh, well, they really hate it actually, um, next to the George Okay. <laughs> Downsized. Uh, right. Michael runs now. Yeah, you, you don't want to go oh. there, Trashy. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a dive. Oh, it's got a I mean, it's a shield, Jordan. <laughs> Come on. Few days? Yeah. You know, yeah. Depends. Yeah, yeah. D depends on depends on work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we live to stay longer, but well, I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Totally get it. Um, so, have you got many plans? There's not really a whole lot to do around here, anyway, is there? I don't know about that. I mean, he's not wrong. He is. Oh, Jordan. There's plenty to do. Just... Oh, oh, if you just use your eyes. Oh, <laughs> I'm so There's so walks, sorry. stargazing, movies, mini golf. Jordan. Just need to know where to walk. This is a very country, rich area. I'm sure. Part of it big and fancy, like Manchester. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that it's boring. It's people. Jordan. Jordan. Oh, yeah. Why not be big? Why not be fancy? But that doesn't mean that it's a dead end. Because people, many people, are happy here. Hey, I. I am happy here. I'm, I'm sure, I didn't. You just need to use your head. Excuse me. Yeah. 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 They, uh, they just get like that. Yeah. So, what do you think? <laughs> uh, she seems nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah not, um, not a huge talker. Yeah. Not a big fan of people either. It's a nice area then. Yeah, yeah, me and me and Jordan used to live right around the corner, you know. Ah yeah, of course you, you mentioned she you sort of just from the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we used to come here after work and grab some chips and coffee and nice. talk about life and um, you know, picture about our work and <laughs> gossip. <laughs> yeah. You miss it. Uh, I'm past it. Yeah. How's the food? It's from a food so girl. What, what do you think? Right. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. That was okay. really rude. I'm sorry. Okay. It's just so weird being back and um, it's nice. But off, and um, I, I, I don't. I, I, maybe this was a mistake. We can always go somewhere else. Go where? To my Different. It just feels smaller than I remember. Yeah. Spell. I had to take a call. <laughs> right. Yeah, sure. Of course. Did you want to get some food? No, no, I think I think we're good. Um, I think we might might head off actually. Yeah. Yeah.
That was the new release I Don't Know What Else To Say by Alex Richmond, a number one smash hit on the singles chart that seemingly come out of nowhere. A slower version of the popular love ballad was released earlier this year, also managing to reach the top 20. We've yet to see whether this jazzy new track will prove to be just a one-hit wonder or the start of a very exciting, very promising career for Alex. For those who have just joined us, my name is Hugh Coleman and now the headlines. On average, 400 people drown in the UK each year with a further 200 taking their own lives. Drowning accounts for more accidental casualties than house fires, cycling, or deaths on the road. Now why is this the case? How can we, as a community, prevent these fatalities that happen every year? Is it about preparation? Education in schools? Adverts on TV? Join us later this afternoon as we discuss why we are so unprepared to deal with something that affects so many of us. I'm I'm sorry for your loss. Hi. Can we get uh, two hot coffees? I'll get a cheese. It's a cheese. A ham and cheese toasted without the cheese. Yeah, and no like mustard or anything. So, okay, yeah, that'll be uh, twelve pounds forty. Do you do you do coffee? I always hate it when they cut the song short on the radio. Yeah. The end of the songs are always the best one. Get to play it around with um, harmonies and the bridges. Later in the day. Uh, yeah. How's your mum holding up? Eat your coffees? I'll let you know if you want to try. We're just over there. Not so well. She hasn't spoken to me since that night. She's got two toasties on. I, I think she blames herself for that. For his passing. Um, she knew his deal in love with her. That's why he would um, go on all those long walks to uh, see his mind. That's really nice, <laughs> really nice, but I was missing What the about time. the divorce? Oh, oh my God. God. As longer a marriage to <laughs> so they just supposed to end. Oh. Janine. What about you? <laughs> What have you been doing? Are you alright? <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Sometimes I wish the old man would be graduation. Oh, 
law school. I mean, it's hard, it's tiring, I am, um, you try to manage it. How's work? Oh, um, yeah, it's been good. I saw you on TV last week. Did you know? I can't believe you said the food truck was good inspiration like who even says that it's true like we always used to come here to write music oh, do you remember when we carved our name into the table how could i not i've never seen jeremy that <laughs> Wherever I write, I always imagine myself here. Do thing around your bio notes to annoy you. Your lyrics were so bad back then. What is it? I don't know what Stop. else to say. We promised we would never talk about that again. No, I should just leak it to the press. I can imagine like the headlines in the newspaper next morning. It's like, you wouldn't. <laughs> it's like, up and coming music oh. stars. Alex, oh. work before them. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, I always thought you'd been a better songwriter than me. That's a lot. I don't think that. I do. But being in this industry, like a lot of the people I've met are like you. What's that supposed to mean? They're talented. And when they work, it's it's just like magic, you know? Like I'll go to them with an idea and then I'll just translate it into a song. Isn't that what you're supposed to do right now? Not really. I mean I mean sure Wikipedia says I'm a singer, songwriter. Oh yeah, of course it's like your own Wikipedia. But page. it doesn't come to me like it did to you. I mean, sure I've got like seven years of experience, but yeah, it just it doesn't flow like it did for you. It's really hard. When I left, I don't think I was prepared. Like, I was just this dumb kid who wanted to make it big with their dumb songs. I missed it here. Then why'd you leave? I don't know. didn't feel like there was a place for me here anymore. Oh, that sounds pretentious. I thought I had something to prove to, to myself, to you maybe. That sounds even more pretentious. It isn't. I was young and insecure. You were always better than me at everything. You were more musically talented and you had better grades in school too. Then you got your unconditional from law school and everything. I just... I needed to prove that I could do something by myself too. Oh yeah, but you didn't write that song by yourself. You yeah. never cared about our songs. Is that what you've been telling yourself? To feel like less, less guilty about it at all? You don't want to pursue music as a career or uh, even study it? My father was the one who pressured me to stray away from it. You know that. It was still your choice. You! Of all people. No, it wasn't.
I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. You know, back in, I was in security that also. You were? You, you know my family, I mean, they're just so good at what they do. And sometimes I just felt like um, there isn't much space for me either. But you were also good at what you did. Like, I remember the melodies you'd come up with on the way back home. And then you could just play them on the guitar when we got back. That's like an insane thing to do at what? 16? At home there was no just playing the guitar. Do you regret it? Staying, like going to law school like your dad wanted. You know my dad, he's my he's my hero. Raised me, maintained a really, really successful career. I know I can never be like him, so I just settled. It's fucking sad, isn't it? I did everything he asked me to, and now just it's just gone. I should be ready. Sometimes I, I wish I could have been that type of person to just be I don't like how you say that. Sorry? Saying I just left. Like, I didn't just leave. It was scary, you know? Packing up everything and moving across the country trying to make a name for myself alone in the big city. When I started, it felt like no one cares about my work. So don't say I just left. I didn't care about my songs. You did? Of course. It made me happy. Make songs. Music, with you. But it always came to you so easily, like, I thought you were doing it because you were bored or because I would insist. Well, you were lying to yourself. Sorry, it was just frustrating, alright? But music was everything to me and you just always had homework to finish. I was angry to you, you know? And I saw you at first, saw you on TV all those years ago. What is it again? Like, hello! and I'll be forming a song that I wrote. I wrote, seriously. Why did you do this? What am I supposed to say, Ash? Don't call like, me like that. It was our song. It was our future. Our future? There was never an us in your future, Sasha. It was all about your own little self and whether or not you'd be successful as everyone else in your family this, was. This is always an ass to me, Alex. Like, you're my best friend. You, how you love that? You're just, you're my best friend my, that, I, that I, I've ever had. You I didn't, just, you didn't I was, care about so much me from, or the songs school, we wrote together? Family, you do know it seems that soon because I've you. actually become successful. You like regret not coming with me because it proven your dad wrong. Everything I do, I'm just... I thought you'd be there for me, you know? So did all I. That. So did I. I wrote both of our names down when I entered that competition. But you you just never came. That was the eve of my final A-level, Alex. What do you expect me to do? Like to bet on my entire life, on that one music competition that I have absolutely no idea whether I'll make it or not? That's what I did. That's what I did. I bet my entire life, my, my dreams and my hopes on one single show. Do you know how much I was shaking on that stage? So don't come crying to me about our future when you were the one to let me down. I didn't 
let you down, Alex. I didn't do anything. Exactly. You didn't do anything. That's why I was angry at you for years. Because you because you didn't do anything. Not even when I made the audition. Not even when I got signed onto the label. You you never called. You never texted. Not once. After what? 17 years of us spending all our time together, you just disappeared. Why are you putting all of this on me? I was just... You were the one who loved Alex. You were the one who performed her song alone without acknowledging me as a writer at all. I could have sued you. With all the evidence I had, you probably won the case. <laughs> Why didn't you? Why didn't I what? Why didn't you see me? And that was the new release, I Don't Know What Else To Say, by Alex Richmond, a number one smash hit on the singles chart that seemingly come out of nowhere. A slower version of the popular love ballad was released earlier this year, also managing to reach the top 20. We've yet to see whether this jazzy new track will prove to be just a one-hit wonder or the start of a very exciting, very promising career for Alex. I just want to confess, I just don't know what else to say. For those who have just joined us, my name is Hugh Coleman and now the headlines. On average, 400 people drown in the UK each year with a further 200 taking their own lives. Drowning accounts for more accidental casualties than house fires, cycling, or deaths on the road. Now, why is this the case? How can we, as a community, prevent these fatalities that happen every year? Is it about preparation, education in schools? Correct. So, he doesn't have any options, but he does have toasters. What are the options? He prefers you ones with four cheese or cheese and mushroom. Um, four cheeses, please. Do you want a coffee? Uh, black, thanks. Black, black, some coffee. Shit, I don't have Just a ham and cheese without the cheese. Um, and then can I get four cheeses as well? A ham and cheese toasty without the cheese. Yeah, oh, and no, like, love for the way. Yeah, sure. Uh, that'll be, um, uh, 12, 40. Oh, do you do Sure. Yeah, and why? 
I think you're just really funny to watch. What is that supposed to mean? Nick, can I have a ham and cheese toasty without the ham? No, without the cheese. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing, it's just amusing at all. It's not amusing, I'm lactose intolerant. You ate cheese the other day. Yeah, and that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said he's going to bring the food over when it's ready. Oh, please. Did you hear the radio? Mm. About the crystal dots? I meant the song, but yeah, that, that's it. It's quite sad, isn't it? You know, it's it's the same every year, you know, Cornwall, Devon, North, South. It wouldn't have been a summer holiday if it weren't for your nan being like, make sure you only swim between the red and yellow flags because there was one time that Wait, what was it? Um, one time, she was a girl. She almost drowned because of... Yeah. Oh, what was it? Um, something about falling. I think she made that story up to scare us, but um. then again, you never could quite tell with her. Some of it was probably true. <laughs> I really have that bit about your mum was true. Oh <laughs> she told that horror story. <laughs> no, she she had the baby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? Um... Grand oh. Beach. Oh, it's a good thing you didn't step on any rocks on the way down. Did you hear that? 400 people. Radio, yes. Oh, that's what I was going to say. What do you think of the song, I don't know what else to say, the slow version or the upbeat version? Mm. I think if I hear either oh. version one more time, I'm going to be sick. Really? Yeah. I like the slow one. That's the new one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it would make a, a cute wedding song. You're joking! <laughs> it's sweet! It's vomit inducing! Oh. Besides, whatever happened to Ed Sheeran's thinking out loud? Mm. Close second. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This coffee's really shit. <laughs> yeah, he should have made it hotter. Yeah. I mean, there's more people than I expected, but still not as busy as I thought it would be. Okay, don't look now for that couple over there. I said don't look. Okay, I'm sorry. Worst day ever, or what? It's probably because you dragged her in the coffee shit. <laughs> what? what? Did I say hear us? Calm down. Right. Yeah. Geography trip in year 12. What about it? That was the coldest I've ever been in my life. It was October. Yeah, and it was freezing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, despite what the teachers say, I still don't think that man just fell. Teachers panicking was hilarious, though. So, oh, you know, yeah. shoving tea and bourbons <laughs> into everybody's hands as if that would like distract everyone from what was happening. Oh. And I don't even like bourbons. Yeah, I got tea. Yours. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Miss Phillips. She was the worst. Oh. If anyone wants to come and talk about what they saw today, come downstairs at 5 p.m. and please don't include us in your essay report. She was trying her best. She was the last person I'd have gone to have had a problem. Wasn't she your guidance teacher? Yeah, and she was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought she was quite nice. Mm. Well, she was nice, but like she wasn't exactly helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she made me do this exercise where I had to like write down my feelings and everything. It was a load of crap. <laughs> I still got the diary though. Um, what was it? It was like, Dear Diary, today I was hit with a tennis ball in PE and it made me feel like S star star star. Yeah. I had to censor it in case anyone found it or in case I had to like read it in front of those team chat sessions. Yes. <laughs> I wrote about my grand diary in my channel. You keep a journal? Yeah, it's um, it's therapeutic. Therapeutic. And it's good for reflective learning. Mm, reflective learning, <laughs> that's very adulting. It's not a word, but <laughs> seriously, you should try it. Nah, I don't like writing, it sucks. It's not about writing, it's more about putting pen to paper. No. Yeah, but like... I guess I'd rather just stick with like grounded facts, you know, death is a fact and not a feeling. Okay. It's kind of like when your nan would like sit us down and be like, wait, am, am I talking about it too much? Sorry. No, no, no. It's been a couple months anyway, it's, it's pretty okay. okay. <laughs>
you know, after my mum dies, um, and your nan would come and pick us up from school. I mean, I wasn't the easiest kid, but um, coming to your house and having those, uh, oh, those. Oh, they're like iced bread things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we'd go upstairs to your room and we'd scroll through the teen magazines with the yeah. dunk food. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, Thanks. Four cheese, ham and cheese, no yeah. cheese. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's got me so much. It's fine. I'll, I'll cook. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so you know how people die every year on the coast? Yeah. Why do you think that happens? I don't know. It's just life, I suppose, and life can be pretty horrible. Yeah, but you know, you think people would read the signs, you know, like danger, steep, steep cliff, and danger, deep water, and danger, you might be one of the 400 people who die. <laughs> You can put up as many signs as you want, it's not really going to stop someone from falling. Oh! I'm sorry, I, I didn't realise it affected you so much. It's fine. It's fine. When my grand died, she just looked like she was sleeping, so... You saw her? I, um, I went to drop off some food, she couldn't get out because of the pandemic. And the house was like, eerily quiet. Clock still ticking, flowers still fresh, milk still open in the fridge. But there was this like staleness, sort of time had stopped and it was spinning way too fast. And I found her asleep in her bed and she was gone and the whole world kept turning. That's what it was like when my mum dies. Like, like an empty seat in a classroom. You never told me that before. I didn't really want to talk about it. Why? You know, my aunt, when my grand died, she told my younger cousins that she was off someplace special. She said the same thing about my goldfish she flushed down the toilet a few years ago. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. hmm. You know, I guess there's some, you know, some logic to it. I like to think that oh. my mom is someplace special. Mm. Mm. I guess the concept of death doesn't really change for a kid or an adult. Mm. I guess so. Yes. You think you think someone would have figured out like a formula like that though? Right. You know, like there's the five stages and everything, but I don't I don't know if I've ever gotten over my mum's death, you know, or, or if I ever will. I mean, she died ages ago. Yeah, that doesn't matter though. I mean there's no cap on grief, you're allowed to feel sad for as long as you want. Yeah, but there's got to be some sort of hierarchy, you know, like your grand dying now must outweigh my feelings about my mum dying 11 years ago. I don't think it works like that. Maybe, how can we tell, you know, like, I can say I feel sad and you can say you feel sad, but one of us must feel more sad than the other, you know? Or maybe it's all the same. I don't know either. Well, how did you feel after your mum died? Like, time had stopped and it was spinning too fast. Like every cave I went into for answers was a tunnel that led in circles. And like writing my feelings down in a journal is pointless because it's not really going to change what's actually happening. Really good at journaling, aren't you? <laughs> I think about it every day. You know, past conversations and where we'd be now and where we'd be in the future. It's like when you mentioned weddings earlier. Um, for a 
fleeting yeah. moment so. where I could think was, yeah, she's not going to be there. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> Do you have napkins? I I don't, but I can go get some. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, I'll go. Are you sure? <laughs> I Don't Know What Else To Say by Alex Richmond, a number one smash hit on the singles chart that's seemingly come out of nowhere. Could this be the start of a very promising career for Richmond, or simply another one-hit wonder? Only time can tell, but here at KBFM we have high hopes for this promising new artist and can't wait to see what she comes up with next. For those who have just joined us, my name is Hugh Coleman and now the headlines. Change is a natural part of life. We see it in the news, in the local corner shop, in our friends and loved ones. To stay still is to prevent growth, and to grow is to better understand who we truly are. When we change, we discover the most beautiful things about ourselves, and sometimes the cost of that is to leave your loved ones behind and let them figure out their own paths. People leave. But the memories of the times you shared together will always be there, ready to get you to where you need to be. And who knows, maybe that's what this is all about. When you're moving in that way, it's like I've never seen you before. I don't know what else to say. Never seen you before I don't know what else to say I just 